The spot price of silver is up over $3 over the past week, but that is not the biggest move of silver. Stick around and find out. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We are a channel that likes to hold physical gold and silver. To support my creation, please subscribe. So I pulled my audience. There was a lot of excitement. Silver spot price went from $27 to $29 on Sunday night. So where did people think the spot price would go today? Monday, February 1st. 3% thought it could drop to $25, 10 27%, 56%, $30, 21%, $35, 10%, $40. Over 420 votes. So where did the spot price go? There it is Sunday, jumping from 27 to 29 and change. And... A side story is that the spread between bid and ask is now a dollar, which is a wider spread than normal, but I think supplies are tight, as we're going to discuss. And then today, it ranged from 28 to 29.50, and closed the day just over 28.50. That is a big jump from last Friday. If we look at the 60-day, we're above all of the silver prices over the last 60 days. It is exciting and it's a big piece of news, but it is not the biggest piece of news. So just five days ago, I did a story, not again, strong silver and gold demand at dealers means higher premiums was part of the answer. And the other part of the answer was shipping delays and tight inventories. And then over the weekend, it got real Atmex, no silver today. First Robin Hood, now Atmex hits the kill switch, not selling you silver. So I got multiple emails from different online bullying dealers, SD Bullion, Atmex, and Monument Metals. So I'm going to pull out a few facts from each of them because it kind of lets you know what they saw in the market that led them and or others to shut off all bullion sales over the weekend. Since then, they have all turned them back on, but they did not want to sell metals Sunday or Saturday night until the Sunday 6 p.m. market update. So this came from Monument Metals. It came on Monday the 1st at 10 a.m. An important update for you. What happened this weekend and some changes moving forward. So we'll just go over a few highlights. Dear Precious Metals Investor, what a weekend. Physical precious metals demand, especially silver, shot to the moon this weekend. Similar to the situation last March when demand spiked, the industry essentially sold out of most live product overnight. Expect to see significant delays, higher premiums, and limited availability for the time being. Why did this happen? This increased level of demand has been building for weeks, but the additional interest in physical silver from the Wall Street Bets Reddit site, along with general uncertainty about world financial markets, has led to a breakout in precious metals demand. Monday. This came over the wires at 11.47 in the morning on Monday the 1st. SD Bullion from their CEO. As you are likely aware, the precious metals market has received unprecedented demand. In the last week, we've seen a massive increase in demand for physical bullion, especially silver. The demand lift is somewhere around 20 times our normal order demand. But this one came over the wires January 31st, around 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I didn't see it. This is from Atmex. This is full of great information in terms of the demand. In the last week, we have seen a dramatic shift in silver demand from our customers. For example, the ratio of ounces sold per day was running about two times earlier in the week and closer to four times the average demand by the end of the week. And then once markets closed on Friday, we saw demand hit as much as six times a typical business day. And then over the weekend, it was 12 times a normal weekend day. Combine that with extremely high demand levels, we are seeing a surge in new customers. On Saturday alone, 
We added as many new customers as we usually add in a whole week. Then they go on to explain why they shut off all silver sales until Sunday evening. So they prepared for the weekend and they took an aggressive position, but once they exceeded their comfort levels, we had little choice but to stop the sale of silver on our website. This was a difficult decision to make and unprecedented in our history. They go on to explain what will happen next. We suspect premiums will rise and rise quickly as we see significant increases in our cost when we can even locate the metal. It is also highly likely that we will need an additional day or two to fill the orders based on current order counts. So this is the big story. Physical premium to paper hits record as silver market tears in two. The shortage of physical silver is exposing a tear in the precious metals market unlike any we have seen before. As detailed below, various executives and bullion dealers have explained that huge demand has left them with no supply and no source for physical silver. And while silver futures prices, paper silver, have stabilized Monday modestly, physical silver prices remain at extremes. And here, the blue is the coin price and the gray is the spot price. And this is from 016 to 021. And it looks like the premiums on the lower graph are between two and three dollars for many, many years, and a spike last spring to six dollars, and a spike now of twelve to fourteen dollars. So goldsilver.com's president Alex Daly also noted this rush on physical silver came at a time when the industry was already experiencing tight supplies. A year of significantly higher than previous volumes, which stretched many mints to the limits, the U.S. Mint providing very limited allocations of its most popular product pending a redesign, the 2021 version 2. So their advice is that there are many good fundamental reasons for silver prices to be higher than they have been, but, however, Moves this fast and premiums and spot prices can often reverse as quickly, so we encourage all of our customers to exercise good judgment and discipline trading in volatile markets. So a dealer that I like to use, amongst others, Monument Metals, let's look at their Eagles. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Random dates. Here we go. $37. Out of stock. Out of stock. All right. An Atmex random year, $40. But let's look into this a little deeper. It's really $42.97. And the 2021, $43.99. And if you're not familiar with what people are talking about with SLV and Reddit, this is a uh, physical backed paper silver. So it's different than COMEX. There is supposed to be an ounce of silver for every ounce of SLV they sell you in a vault somewhere in giant bars. So this is what Reddit is possibly piling into and buying silver this way in addition to buying silver in addition to buying physical silver. So for the past week, SLV is up 13%. So to drive home the point about the difference between silver spot, SLV, and physical. Last week, today, and the percentage increase. These are the spot prices over the last week. We've gone from 25.45 to 28.55 today. The difference is $3.10 or a 10.8% increase. The SLV has gone from 23 to 26 and change. A 307 delta, uh, this is 
no, 309 delta, and this is, I don't know, 13.1%. So slightly different, but pretty close. They open and close at different times of the day. But physical price, Monument was 37.67, Atmex was 40, and even 44. This is the hard part. I don't know what the price was last week. I think it was a $6 premium. I think we started to get below a $6 premium. I don't think it was a $7 premium. I think we we're getting in the five and six. I'm not sure if we were below 30, but let's be generous and say it was a $6 premium and not even lower. So the difference between this and where we are now is 19%, 29%, and 39%. So while spot may have jumped 10%, the physical price has jumped 19, 29, maybe even 39%. So it's one thing to say in your mind, I am going to keep buying silver when silver is $30, but silver is not $30. If you're buying coins, silver is $44 or $41. So this is a very high premium to be trying to recoup such a $9, $10, $12 dollar premium in the future. So this is the key takeaway. Over time, dollars, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, As spot price has increased, the silver coin price has increased more dramatically. The physical price is on a different trajectory than the spot price. And it's soaring higher and it is flying <laughs> too close to the sun. So we'll circle back to the president of goldsilver.com, Alex Daly, and he noted that However, moves this fast in premiums and spot prices can often reverse as quickly, so we encourage all of our customers to exercise good judgment and discipline trading in volatile markets.